How to make Japanese rolled omelette. Here, I would like to explain how to prepare a rolled omelette. Oil the gokuban, the rolled omelette pan, using a paper so it is absorbed. Before pouring the egg liquid, always check the temperature of the pan by placing your hand over it or by bringing it closer to your cheek. Fill half of the 180 cc ladle with the prepared egg liquid. If the pan temperature is too high, the egg liquid burns. However, if it is too low, the sugar of the liquid tends to remain. Therefore, pay attention to the sound when you pour the egg liquid. After pouring the liquid, spread over the surface and if you have bubbles, break them. The heat should be medium to high heat. When the surface row part gets immobile, cut with the chopsticks the both sides and the upper part and by flipping the pan, fold the omelette in three. When folding, make sure that the surface is still raw because if not, it won't stick and when you will cut the omelette to make sushi, it may crack. Oil well the empty top side of the pan and when the omelette of the bottom side of the pan is well cooked, move it to the top side. Oil the bottom side of the pan, fill 80% of the ladle with the egg liquid. If you hear the same sound as the first pouring, your omelette will be beautiful. By using the chopsticks and by inclining the pan, spread the liquid under the omelette. After spreading the liquid under both sides and in the center, hold the omelette with the chopsticks and incline it toward you so the remaining liquid comes to the bottom side of the pan. If the liquid remains on the top side, the cooking time of the top and bottom side will differ. Cook the bottom side with the remaining heat and control the temperature with the liquid under the omelette of the top side. That is the basic. When you have bubbles in the center part, spread the remaining liquid again under the omelette, hold it with the chopsticks and make the excess liquid to come to the bottom side. When the omelette close to your side makes bubbles, it means that it is cooked. Using your chopsticks, break those bubbles, incline the pan on both sides and when you successfully detached the omelette from the pan with the chopsticks, and let's flip the omelette. Generally, you fold it in three the second time too, and when the flipping part stuck, you flip one more time. Oil well the empty top side. Here, if there is too much oil, the omelette will slipper too much and the flipping gets difficult. As the omelette pan already has oil on it, a little quantity of oil is enough. When the bottom side is ready, slide the omelette to the top side and oil the empty bottom surface of the pan. Pour 80% of the egg liquid. Make sure it goes under the rolled omelette. Repeating this process, the omelette will get thicker. The important point is which part of the pan to be put above fire. Basically, when you pour the egg liquid, the temperature decreases. Therefore, the fire should always be under the omelette. The tip when flipping the omelette is to hold firmly the omelette pan's handle. Move the index as you can see here. Here, if you pull the elbow as when you're using a normal pan, you won't be able to flip the omelette, but just slide toward you. Further, even if you move it up, the omelette won't roll. Fix your hand position and move your wrist. If you lift up the omelette pan tip toward you, the centrifugal force will be added and the omelette will lift up. And by supporting with the chopsticks the lifted omelette, you can beautifully flip it. The omelette that has been rolled for the third time has a loose part. Oil the top part surface and the loose part, try to push it into the omelette of the bottom side. When the bottom side is cooked, slide the omelette. 
and oil the pan the same way. Pour the last egg liquid and make sure it goes under the omelette. The final surface will depend on this process of spreading the liquid under the omelette, so do it well. Hold the omelette and spread the excess liquid on the bottom side. When bubbles come out on the bottom side, spread the remaining liquid and hold the omelette to move the excess liquid to the bottom side. When you broke the bubbles, incline the pan on both sides, insert the chopsticks to peel it off the omelette walls from the pan's walls, and flip it for the last time. This time too, lift up the omelette pan tip toward you and flip. For finishing, make the heat low and let shape the omelette. After cleaning the pan surface with a little oil, move the omelette. Make sure to slide it when the bottom side omelette is almost cooked. If you immediately slide it, the surface won't stick and will collapse due to the gap. Therefore, wait until the bottom side is ready and then move it to the top. Place the wooden lid for rolled omelette, so-called gera in Japanese, and gently put it toward the top to shape it into a square shape. Place the omelette on the geta for a while. By turning over the omelette using the geta, you can change the front side to the back side. Press gently with the geta the side, and this time the top too. Repeat this process a few times until you have a beautiful shape and good degree of burning. Now, let's switch the back and forward of the omelette. Place the omelette on the geta again and rotate the geta's tip direction 180 degrees and replace again the omelette on the pan. This process has to be done because the far side of the omelette is touching the pan and so cooking well, but the closed side is not still cooked. The omelette walls tend not to be well cooked and may be half raw, so make sure to cook it well. Place it on the geta and then place it on the plate with a paper on it. After it cools down, wrap it with paper and store it in a fridge. Make sure to use the omelette within two to three days. The pan that has been used to make the omelette has omelette burns, sugar, and remains. Therefore, after using it, clean it well. This movie shows how to make a Japanese rolled omelette. If you would like to know further, such as how to clean the pan, how to make the broth for the rolled omelette, please watch the other movies. Thank you for watching it.